Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're checking out this guy right here. It's the Drevo Caliber 71 key RGB wireless mechanical keyboard. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. So let's jump right into it then with the design. So straight away you will have noticed this is a pretty small keyboard. Yeah. So it's very compact and it's probably the smallest keyboard I think I've ever tested. And that has a very clean design. I really like the look of it. It looks awesome on your desk. Uh, for those people that want that very clean look, it's very good for that. It doesn't look cheap at all either, which is interesting given the price point it comes in at. And it actually feels really well built, which is impressive, again, because of the price point it's coming in at that we will talk about later on. Now, it has a metal top plate, but the rest is all plastic, which is, you know, fairly typical. Uh, it's very flat with the stands down. However, with the stands up, it actually feels quite nice. There's a decent angle to it. And you can switch between uh, wired and wireless. So, with it in the wireless mode now, obviously it's on a battery. Uh, it connects via Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, battery life's decent. It's going to depend on the settings. I mean, if you're running full lighting, obviously it's going to be less. But you can, it'll be around, you know, 18 hours, I would say. 18 to 20 hours, somewhere around there. And it's, you know, it's decent for battery life for what it is. But you can just avoid that if you want and just run it wired. And it's not really a problem. Um, so you just connect that up. Uh, it takes a few hours to charge uh, once it is out of battery. Uh, with it uh, on battery, as you see, it will turn off by itself. So when you hit a key, it'll light back up like this. Oh, that's good. It will save battery life. And yeah, so it's really going to depend how you want to use it. I uh, mean, personally, I just left it connected uh, the whole time. It's not a problem for me because I'm obviously using it at my computer. Maybe if you're using this with a laptop or something like that, then it'll be a little bit different. But yeah, design wise, I'm very impressed by it and I really do like it. So let's move on then and talk about these switches then. So just like all the other Drevo keyboards that I've tested, it comes with the Otumu switches. Uh, these are Cherry MX clones, pretty good ones at that. They're slightly heavier than their Cherry MX counterparts, but they still feel pretty good for the most part. Uh, much better than Kale's, at least in my opinion, but they're not quite as good as genuine Cherry MX switches, but they're still pretty damn good. Now it's coming in the usual flavors, uh, the blue switch, black, brown and red. Uh, this one I got, you can hear. So these are brown switches. I think for this keyboard, personally, I would pick a brown switch for it. Um, no particular reason, it just seemed fitting to me. But yeah, uh, brown switches on this. Now as far as the keycaps themselves go, it's coming with ABS keycaps. Now they're saying that these ones are an upgrade over normal ABS keycaps. They are top quality. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but they certainly do feel very good. And as far as the typing experience on this guy, it's fantastic. Uh, I would prefer Cherry MX switches, as you guys will know. But for the price point this comes in at, it's absolutely fantastic to type on. It really is good. I had the stands up. I like my keyboards a bit more angled like that, but it was very, very good. I love typing on it. It was very nice and I had no issues with it. Obviously, this is a compact keyboard, so you lose the F keys across the top and a lot of other things, but you should be aware of that before you buy this keyboard. Uh, just think about what you actually use. If you never use that stuff, then why would you need to buy it and a keyboard? And so I think a lot of people out there realize they don't use a lot of that stuff. They don't use those keys, so they just get a keyboard like this and avoid it. Now, I have seen a few people say that if you use this keyboard in its wireless mode and you type fast, uh, you can have issues there, you know, like the words don't show up and other things. Now that has not been the case for me. I can type pretty damn fast. I would say faster than the vast majority of computer users and even enthusiasts and gamers. And I have not had this issue at all, not once. Uh, every time I use it for typing, it's fine. This it, uh, this is in wireless. I haven't had issues. I think that may be more about what computer you're using it with um, and other factors, but for me, it hasn't been an issue. But if you do have one of these keyboards, let me know in the comment section down below if you have had that issue, because I've seen a few people complain about it, but personally, I haven't had it 
be an issue at all. Every time I type on it, no matter how fast, everything comes up exactly right. Again, if you're just going to use this wired, then it's not going to be a problem anyway. Um, that's what I would say most people will probably do if they're using this with a computer anyway. You just leave it connected because, I mean, it's running on battery anyway, so you're going to need to connect it up uh to recharge that battery so if you're using it just on your desk on a computer hey just leak the cable in <laughs> and then you don't need to worry about that especially if you're someone playing a lot of competitive games so with that being said i'll let you guys uh, hear what this sounds like with the typing so that gives you an idea of the sound yeah it's pretty good if i hold it up to the mic here The brown switches, not particularly loud, but of course, you know, reds and black switches will be uh, a bit quieter than these, but I do like the browns with this keyboard. So let's move on and talk about the lighting then, because it does look quite nice, especially on a cheap, more compact keyboard like this. So I do have to say, I really like the RGB lighting on this, and this is coming from someone that isn't a big fan of RGB lighting. You may say, well, why is that, Kevin? Because it's it, it may not show up on camera, but it's more subtle than on many other keyboards. And by that, I mean it's not weak. It's just it's just more subtle. I'm, I, that's the best way I can put it. Because of the keycaps, because of the finish, it just looks really nice. It looks really clean, and I do like it. You can customize it with or without software. This is something Ducky's been doing as well, and I like that too but it does come with a downside. So without the software, it's fine. You can customize it. You'll have to use the manual unless you've got like, you know, the best memory ever, or <laughs> I guess you work at Drevo so you can actually remember all the commands. You'll have to use the manual obviously to go through it and set it all up. Um, that's fine, that's not an issue. And of course it avoids software, which is nice. You know, we'd all like less software than we, you know, have to have on our computer. However, the software itself, first of all, it's weird with Drevo. I just have to say, they have separate software for each keyboard, which is something I've never seen before. Usually the companies just release one sort of software which handles uh, all of their keyboards or sometimes even all of their peripherals in general. With Drevo, they do it individually. Now with the Caliber, with the Drevo, I believe it's called the 72 software for this particular one, it's just really hard to use. It reminds, you, it reminds me of the Corsair Q software from way back in the day, and that was just a nightmare to use. It's not quite as bad as that, but it's an area where they definitely could improve. It's just difficult to use, and I didn't particularly like using it. But as I said, you don't have to use the software. You can avoid it, and you can just use it without it, uh, just using the manual and dialing and everything like that. Now, as far as the different lighting modes go, you have a bunch of different ones that you can use, uh, the snake marquee, reactive, advanced reactive, breathing, wave, ripple, and error. So that's quite good. Um, they all look fairly nice. I'm not a big fan of running these sort of modes myself. I just generally leave it on a more static one, but hey, maybe that's just me. Which brings us now to the conclusion then. And what do I make of the Drevo Caliber compact RGB mechanical keyboard. So this guy's coming in at 63 US dollars right now on Amazon. I couldn't really find that many other places uh, that have a price on it because they're all sold out. So this guy is definitely in high demand. I have heard of it coming in cheaper, so I would uh, keep an eye out for those sort of deals. If you can find one, then you can probably snag this keyboard for a little bit cheaper than that. But even at that $63 price tag, that's a hell of a deal. This thing is a really good keyboard. Honestly, like it ticks a lot of boxes. Not only is it compact, not only is it RGB, not only is it mechanical, not only is it wireless, but it's actually very well built as well and coming in at a low cost. So there's not really that much I can hit it on. But if I'm gonna be very critical, I would say definitely the software, that's, that's definitely a weak part. And uh, obviously, I would also prefer it if it had the Cherry MX key switches personally, but I know that maybe I'm becoming more alone in sort of really liking Cherry MX switches. Uh, but the Otumus are still good. They're definitely not bad, and they're much better than Kales, in my opinion. 
So it's a very, very good keyboard and I have no issues at all recommending it to you guys. So if you're looking for a compact mechanical keyboard, then I would definitely check this guy out because it is one hell of a keyboard and I am very, very impressed by it. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below, guys. Tell me, are you interested in compact keyboards? Do you have one? Have you had one? Let me know. I'd like to know how popular they really are. Now, I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.